Hello community, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will talk about how to make the lives of the editors a bit easier um, while checking out the new features coming up in the uh, version 9 for device previews. So stay tuned. Developing responsive or adaptive websites is daily business for web workers nowadays. There are a lot of tools available for emulating websites on certain, certain circumstances, or like slower connections, um, device width, um, checking them out in their device lab. But this is kind of developer stuff, you know? Um, that's nothing an editor can really handle with. Um, for editors, talking to the developers, it's, it's quite abstract because developers are mainly talking about device breakpoints like small, medium, large or XL devices that are quite abstract for a normal editor that needs to maintain the content of their website. In Tapestry, 3 we tried a lot to help editors to understand more what um, they need to test on how their website will look afterwards after they put in the content. So if we now have a look at the current implementation of version 8.7, our LTS version that's currently running, uh, we can see in the backend we have uh, this view module available that let editors re easily check um, their pages or the websites um, they can access to the uh, through the um, through the page tree and can just click and see okay what would it be like on uh, a width of 640 pixels that's declared here as a, as a mobile device. So we have additional sizes available, that means 1024p for a tablet, um, and we can also resize that stuff. Um, mostly the only value that's presetted by Type 3 is the width, so the height is can be adjusted also by dragging these, these little handlebars up and down um, but it's not really helpful and hard to understand what the editor is currently looking at. So with version 9 we try to reimagine and, and try to have a look how we can make the life of editors a bit more easy and a bit more understandable what they're currently looking at. So if we have a look at the version 9, um, you will see the interface changed a bit. So we now have device sets or presets available that are currently named to a uh, default. So some we, we ship some devices that we think that are quite useful or quite common, so the editor can easily select these. So we're currently looking at the introduction package start page on a Nexus 6P. Um, what you can see up here um, in this little uh, text box. You can also see the applied um, width and height directly in here and you can also change the orientation easy like that that makes for the editor it makes it a lot more easy to understand okay what is it i'm currently looking at because they can they, they know an iphone then they, they know a nexus device they know a galaxy um some stuff they they know okay this is the stuff we're look really looking at also you can see in the analytics data of your website um what's the most common devices and can make them available here. So we have quite some options here. So that means we provide a maximized version, so you can click, it just fills up the available space. So the editor can look at, at, at what's mostly fitting, but it can also select um, like a 1080, 1080p uh, computer. So even if he now has to scroll, that's the width the website will um, be rendered on that device. Um, also, we have available some Nexus, iPad Pros um, that can be easily checked what would be shown on the device itself when it's opened with an iPad Pro, for example. Also, the orientation, like mentioned before, can be easily changed. Um, we can now check on iPhone 5, for example, and change orientation again and see, okay, if everything fitting, what we want to see the users, if they're entering the page, or are all elements correctly 
rendered a line so what we basically set in the backend. So as mentioned, we're shipping, this is a preset you will see if you install um, a version 9.x um, for your clients. Um, these settings are completely adjustable so because we don't know um, what the f in the future will become, what's important for your client, um, and what they really want to look at when they are composing the content of a website. What we can do now, we can co configure it completely to the needs of the editor afterwards. So that means, for example, um, the preview frameworks are completely configurable by page TS config. That means, um, for example, I've now opened to the congratulations page and resources and um, scroll to resources and then just enter for demo purposes the new settings in the database. I prepared some stuff already. So for example, our editors don't need to have to check the iPhone 4, uh, the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 6. But we want to enable um, a new device called iPhone X because it's trendy somehow and the Galaxy S8 is also um, some kind of important for our clients because they use it personally so they want to check that's basically what it can will be look uh, if they open the website on the Galaxy S8. Um, as you can see you can provide a key that you can also use to unset the values afterwards like we did in with the iPhone 4, 5 and 6 for example. Uh, you can provide a custom label for your clients so Maybe they call the iPhone X something else, like iPhone Unicorn Edition. Um, we can um, give a type to the um, to the device itself. Like for now, we only adding mobile devices. We also have tablets and computers available, uh, and you can specify the width and height for that um, preset. So if we now save the changes and head back to the to the view module and reload it quickly, we can see, okay, we now have the iPhone X available and the Galaxy S8, um, and the editor can basically preview um, the website on this certain device width. This is not a device lab, so we will only adjust the width and height accordingly for the editor um, to get a feeling what the website will look like. Um, other stuff we currently um, are not shipping. So if you want to learn more about how to use this feature, the documentation is completely available. Um, it's uh, shipped with our REST files, with the core changes, um, and yeah, we hope you like it. If you like this video and would like to see more about more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, uh, leave some comments below, and we highly appreciate your feedback. Thanks. Bye.